In May of 2011, historian Richard Norton Smith led a 10-day bus tour from Asheville, North Carolina to Austin, Texas. The group stopped at several presidential and historic sites along the route. One of the stops was the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas. The museum is located in what was once the Texas School Book Depository. From the sixth floor southeast corner window of this building, Lee Harvey Oswald shot President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963. Curator Gary Mack talked about the museum and how the information on the assassination and ensuing investigations is presented. And what we set out to do was to basically tell what happened and not draw any of our own conclusions about what it means, but to present what history has told us. And there have been several investigations and uh, uh, various developments over the years. Most people, according to the public opinion surveys, have never been satisfied that it was just Lee Harvey Oswald. But none of these other theories have been proven. And as far as many people are concerned, they've all been dismissed. The official explanation is three shots were fired, all from Lee Harvey Oswald and all from that southeast corner sixth floor window. The rifle that uh, Oswald supposedly used uh, was his. It was traced to him and to his post office box. It was left behind in the building on the sixth floor. The Warren Commission uh, had a reconstruction done and one of the exhibits upstairs is a scale model of Dealey Plaza that they used to help them study how the shooting happened. Ultimately, the FBI and the Warren Commission decided that the first shot came when the car came out from underneath a, a tree. That tree is still there. It's much taller now than it was then. From that moment to when that fatal shot was fired is about six seconds. Well, then they had the problem of, well, could that rifle be fired that fast? Not easily, and of course, the faster you try to fire a rifle, the more inaccurate you tend to be. But the later thinking is the first shot was fired before the car went under the tree, which adds a total of two or three more seconds. So if you have eight or nine seconds to fire, then you can do it. The rifle had a scope, but that doesn't mean he had to use the scope. You would normally, uh, and, and I've talked to uh, a couple of Dallas police officers who fired test shots from that window in 1978 for the second investigation. They told me and all the reporters present, these are easy shots, no one would miss. It's the timing that makes it difficult. But if you have enough, if you have seven, eight, nine seconds, you can do it if you have used that weapon before. There is no hard evidence in the medical evidence that Kennedy was hit from any other direction other than behind and above. Now whether there was another shooter who didn't shoot or did uh, fire a shot and missed, that's a question that some people are still not comfortable with answering because they just don't know. They're not satisfied with not knowing. Let me give you an example. Um, you know, in a criminal investigation there's always, uh, there are always loose ends. Every investigator will tell you that. When the shots were fired, within 30 seconds, one of the Dallas police officers doing traffic control at the intersection started running down the side street here, and he ran back to the area that's now known as the Grassy Knoll in the parking lot. He encountered a man dressed in a coat and tie. The cop had his gun drawn, and he went up to the man. The man identified himself as Secret Service, told him he was Secret Service, and flashed Secret Service credentials. The cop let him go and proceeded to search around the parking lot and found nothing. The Warren Commission was told about this and they asked the Secret Service, well, who did you have, who of your agents were, were located on the ground? None. Those of us who study the assassination would then look and to see what happened as a result of getting this information. You would think there would be some sort of investigation. Well, who is this guy? Why has he not come forward? How come his supervisor hasn't come forward to say, you know, it's Ralph or something? Nothing happened. There was no follow-up whatsoever. And there are, I don't know what the total number is, but there are enough of those questions that make a lot of people scratch their heads and go, you know, what's really going on here? Is there more to it? Or is it, you know, was that just some guy who for some reason did not or could not come forward at the time? Uh, we don't know.
most people are just not satisfied with the Kennedy assassination and how it ended, leaving some questions up in the air and no motive for uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, no known motive. So perhaps that's one of the reasons, or two of the reasons, that uh, people come here. We have had members of the Kennedy family here. We don't identify them by name, but uh, uh, the Kennedy family is quite happy with what we do and how we go about it. For more information about the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza, visit their website at jfk.org. And to learn more about tours with historian and author Richard Norton Smith, go to presidentsandpatriots.com. American History TV, all weekend, every weekend, on C-SPAN 3.